all you starfighters out there, Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in Starfield. Uh, we are working on the Freestar Collective quest line, and I believe uh, we have to go talk to the mayor. Let's take a quick peek here. Yeah, talk to Daniel Blake, uh, who is the... Uh, let's see here. Talk to Daniel Blake, which, uh, yeah, Marshall Blake. So, we need to go upstairs and see him, so let's do that. We still got Emma following us, and so uh, upstairs we go. And I think it's around through here. Another set of stairs. And I believe another set of stairs. Okay. And here comes Emma. All right. Marshall. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them and Unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. Very well. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. Miss Wagner is safe. That's the important thing. For the time being, yes. But she could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? Well, they were tough, well-armed. Probably mercenaries. If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Yep. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Ah, uh, here, just this. All right. Hmm. Says here the thief had help from someone inside Hope Tech. I ain't much to go on. There's something else. They were dressed in Freestar Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? That sound familiar at all? The 1st Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it, anyway? Well, finding the starship thief that those men hired is our best lead. Hell, it's our only lead. Yep. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Okay, that won't be a problem. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. Hey. This is your assignment now, deputy. Work with the other rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Okay. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. All right. Okay, go to Pavlo's orbit. And Emma is now no longer following me. Ah, nice. Okay. Back on my own. That's what I like. All right. I think we've got to travel there. Uh, get down the damn stairs here. Just go down. Yeah, it does. Better and... this than being some dust wrangler on Montara Luna. Okay, sure thing. All right. Out the door. And we've got to get over to our ship which I think is around this way. So we'll just head on down over here. All right. Well, I think once we get to Hope Tech, then I'll uh, catch back up with you all, and we'll see what uh, Ron Hope has to say. Mayday! Mayday! This is Free Star Ranger Nia Kalu. If anyone is hearing this, system's failing. Need help. I repeat, need help. This is Free Star Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. 
Okay, so we seem to have a side mission here. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, Nina Kalua's ship. Uh, can we dock? Let's dock. Let's see what this is all about. We're going to get distracted here a little bit. All right, let's get up. And... Uh... All right, let's see what we got here. Board Nina, okay. Oh, I think this is all part of the same mission. Let me see. Okay, it is. Okay, good deal. All right. Okay. I wasn't expecting this, but let's uh, go see what Nina has to say. All right, uh, the door. Okay, uh, where is she at? All right, down, down we go. This is where we get off. Uh, oop, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, come on, there we go. All right. Nina, you're not looking so well. Please tell me you're here to help, not to try and steal my ship. No, I'm Ranger Deputy Kingfish, just signed up. Welcome aboard, Deputy. Sorry if I can't give you the grand tour just yet. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. Ah. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. I'll see if I can get you flying again. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. I'm on it. Thanks. I owe you one. Okay, repair Nina's ship. Uh, what do we gotta do to do that? Let's see here. Uh, okay, looks like there's one in here. Maybe a couple in here. Uh, we're here, okay. Okay, uh, repair, all right, that one's taken care of, all right, we got something else here, uh, all right, uh, oh, that must be down below and one up above, okay. Let's see, so let's go up above. All right, over and around here. All right, let's uh, repair. Okay, that's done. All right. Uh, looks like back down now. All right, let's go down. Uh, I didn't think we've got to go all the way down this time. Okay, this way. And... This is what needs to be repaired. Okay. Talk to Nina. All right. Okay. All right. Back up we go. And. 
And let's go see Nina. All right, Nina. Thanks. That should get me home. Those outlaw ships still need to be dealt with. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. Uh-oh. Okay. Just tell me where they were headed, and I'll handle it. They look to be heading for Polvo's moon, Miatha. Good hunting. Great. Go to Miatha. Is that still all part of today's mission? Let's see. Uh, yep. Go to Miatha. All right. And so we're getting uh, sidetracked here from going to talk to uh, Hope. Ron Hope, but okay, so I guess that's where we're off to next. And I'm guessing that that means we are going to have to fight some ships here. Uh, let's go up, get to our ship. All right, and oh, I think up one more, dang it. Oh, I guess this is as far up as we can go. Oh, actually, it's right here. Enter the frontier. What am I doing? Okay. Uh, let's uh, see where we need to go. All right. Undocked. All these complications. Okay, now we should be able to fast travel. Uh, let's uh, set course for this. Travel to Miatha. All right. Ah, what do we got here? Oh, great. All right, come on. Come on, let's... Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, come on. Enemy missiles locked on. All right, come on. All right, that one's out of the way. Where's the others at? Come on. Let's got a lock there. Easy pickings. <laughs> Come on. One more to go. Okay, let's let my guns come back. Come on. There we go. All right. Guns. Heavy ah. missiles locked on. Come on, come on, come on. Payday. Okay. Destroy the outlaw. Okay, go to Hope Town. All right. Okay, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's go to Hope Town. All right. We've got them out of the way. Let's, uh, set course for Hope Town. All right. Let's land at Hope Town. 
All right, we took care of them. Wasn't too bad. Okay, we're here in Hope Town. All right, I think we've got to go see. Uh, a deputy. All right, let's see what we go got here. All right, talk to. Oh, that was the deputy. All right, so she should be here. All right, let's go talk to Nina. Oh, Rangers. Hey, I wonder if, where's the dude? Are you the dude? Hey. Uh, oh, that's a citizen. Uh, oh, I was hoping to buy some ammo. All right. Fine. Uh, where's Nina at? Where did the, uh... Hello. What happened here? Oh, my mission got, uh, turned off somehow. All right, there we go. All right, back. Here we go. All right. I don't want to hear any complaints. Yeah, you won't. Hope Tech. All right. Nina. Where's Nina at? Nina. Hey, how are you? You, you look made better. It. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? Ah, no trouble at all. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. That's right. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. Okay. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Oh no, let's go meet Ron Hope. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Okay. Uh, the only thing I am going to do though, uh, is this. Let's see. I think I want to make sure uh, apparel. I'm going to put the old business suit on just in case we have to do some persuasion skills. And uh, we'll put the deputy's hat on. And let's go to the aid since we've got a boatload of it anyway. Uh, where is it? That's carry damage. Damage, uh, oh, come on. Oh, here we go. Chardonnay. Let's add some persuasion skills to all of this. I'm guessing the marshal already told you this, but I'll say it anyway. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech. He's on the Council of Governors. Yeah. The council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile him up. Nope. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Okay. Everything you see around you, he built. All right. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. Can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. You got it. Why I put my business suit on, man? Come on. Where in the hell are we going? All the way up. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Yeah. I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. Yeah, well, my office is on the top floor. So, there. Good God. I mean, we went up several flights of stairs. Okay, we're almost there, I believe. As for parts, we could try outsourcing. Do a contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare everyone in the factory. Okay. We look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well, now, 
of free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn. Good to see you again. I think we're done here, Burchard. Yes, sir. Okay. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a free Star Ranger. We certainly could use more of you. Of course. All right. So let's uh. My let's close... get down to it, shall let's we? Let's talk. Time is money. Yep. Okay. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. <sighs> Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. Okay. Uh, I found your stolen ship on Montero Luna. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. Yeah, okay. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. Of course not. Yes, sir, Mr. Hope, you can count on me. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Well, the... Uh, let's see. The ship was delivered to a group of men who were trying to acquire a farm. Of course I do. Well, that's no, what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me. What does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Of course, Mr. Well, Hull. I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Okay. Uh, let's see. The thief had inside help. Know anything about that? Did anyone... I'll start with this. Did anyone see the thief? We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened. And not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. I would agree. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. Yeah, okay. Uh, so why didn't anyone report the theft? Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. Okay. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Okay. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh... All right, so was there anything unique about the stolen ship? No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now, you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Sure, okay. All right. Well, last question. Uh... The the thief had uh, inside help. Know anything about that? What? Nonsense. We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Okay. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. That would be good. Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. Okay, well, I think we're done here. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. Okay. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very I... seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust. And my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. Okay. 
Oh, you can count on my discretion, Mr. Hope. I'm glad we understand one another. Hey. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. I, uh, you've got hey, it. Um... Get a word. Okay. All right. Talk to Nina. Okay. Hold still, Nina. I can't talk to you if you're walking away from me. Okay. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. It's enough to go on, so I guess I better get started. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. Oh, yes. Okay. Jalen Price, got it. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. You got it. All right, thanks for setting up the meeting. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. Okay, all right, all right. Where hope is built, okay. So we finished that portion of it. Uh, shadows in Neon. All right, we might as well go ahead and get going here. Uh, once I get to Neon, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, we have made it here to Neon, and we've got to talk to Jalen. So I believe he is at the mining league. Scram, I'm on duty. Uh, Free Star Ranger. So I think that's in here. So let's go see what uh, Jalen has to say. Jalen, Jalen. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just. Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? Yeah. You must be Ranger Price. The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Yep. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. Okay. I'm sure the people in Neon want to uphold the law. Yeah, about that. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. All right. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Oh, I won't cause any trouble. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know... Billy Clayton does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, nothing in Neon is free. You got it. All right. Take me to Billy Clayton. Come on. All right. I guess uh, we got to follow old Jalen. All right. Out the door we go. And, all right. Well, I tell you, once we get to uh, old Billy uh, Clayton. To help out with the bank heist. Hey, Billy, you got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Tch, far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. All right. So let's talk to Billy. Hey, Billy. What do you need? Uh, a stolen Hope Tech ship landed here recently, and I need information on the pilot. Hmm. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. Hey. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? Ah. Uh, people could be in danger. Yeah, well, I'm one of them. 
I can help you. But right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Yeah, that's part of the job, yeah. Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Uh-oh. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. Well, if I'll talk to this loan shark, but you'd better make it worth my time. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. All right. Okay, so we've got to go, which means that I'm probably not going to be wanting to wear this uh, business suit. So let's uh, let's change apparel. Let's put on. Uh, let's see. That's Carrie. Uh, the Rangers deputy. Yeah, let's let's put the deputy's uniform on. We got the deputy's hat on, and I think that ought to do it. And so, let's uh, go over here. It's not too far over. It looks like uh, around the corner here. Upside, upside. Oh, okay right here underbelly oh boy okay I think we've we've been here before so we're probably going to need to take out this loan shark Some, somehow I have a feeling that that's what it's going to come down to I'm not too worried about him though all right another elevator now where in the hell are we going All right, upper platform, okay. All right, the upper platform, where are we at here? Uh, oh, we probably gotta go around this way. And, been down here before. Got the gangs. All right. This is private property. You'd better keep walking. This is private property. Hey, I need to get in there. It's important. Do you now? Ah, uh, I'm sure we can work something. But uh, it would make sense just to go along with what I want. What? No, that's not true. Oh, it didn't uh, work, huh? All right. Uh, wouldn't it be easier just to give me what I want? See, I got two turns left. Ooh, this is going to be tough. I understand you can't let everyone through. Rules are rules. I'm not falling for that. You're not getting past me. Well, I'm getting tired of asking. You need to let me in there now. Okay, okay. I might be able to make an exception. For you. You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. All right, you got Try it. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. Yeah, sure. This Warehouse key you. added. All right. Okay. We've got to confront Emmett. Where in the hell's Emmett? I swear we've been here before. Up we go. Uh, is it around? Oh, uh, it's inside in there. Open the door. Emmett? <clears throat> Something I can do for you, friend. Sure. Well, now, always happy to have a visitor. I'm sure Tell you me are. what brings you by, friend. A little light on credits, are you? Ah, uh, I'm going to hear about a debt you're trying to collect from Billy Clayton. Oh, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf. But I think I have the matter well in hand. Oh, do you? Thank you all the same for your concern. All right. Billy can't pay the debt, and you know it. Let this one go. 
If you're attempting to appeal to my good nature, you're proceeding under a false premise. You see, in my line of work, it doesn't exactly pay to be soft. What's your stake in this anyway? Ah, uh, that's none of your business. But you're making it my business. I have a legal right to collect what's owed to me. No law is being broken here. All right. I'm, I'm asking for your cooperation here. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. All right. Uh, oh, boy. Billy did nothing wrong. He's totally innocent here. This is a lot of credits we're talking about. I ain't just going to eat that loss. All right. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm trying to make trouble. Just want to talk this through. Look, I'd like to help, but... All right. It would make sense to just go along with what I want. You're starting to make a lot of sense. All right. Come on. Billy's barely getting by as it is. Well, that ain't wrong. I suppose I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. Folks might try to take advantage. All right. We talked our way through that one. Probably should have just attacked him and been done with the scumbag, but that's that's that. We've got the Billy so that uh, he'll talk to us. You better watch it. Oh, yeah. All right. When I get back to Billy, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, we are back here. Uh, so here's Jalen and Billy. Be ready for anything. Did you talk to Goodman? I persuaded him to forgive the debt. Yeah. I figured he wouldn't want to make an enemy of the Freestar Rangers. Glad the badge still means something around here. Hmm. The Syndicate doesn't worry all that much about the Rangers. I think our new deputy here is just a real smooth talker. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. Yep. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. She's been throwing money around, so you must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Okay. Uh, great. Jalen Price is following me. All right. Shadows and Dion confront. Uh, what's her name? All right. Where do we got to go? Back over this way. All right. Uh, we got to go to Madame Savage's, and we've been there before. Let's see. I'm not Let's around through here. This is Neon's premier social yeah, here we go, Madame Savage. All right. All right. Where's this? Uh, gal at all right yes. over uh, over here in the corner howdy yeah grace a free star ranger and his what are you a sidekick or something yeah well hey don't walk away from me i'm talking to you i'm uh deputy kingfish well i'm sure your mom is real proud yeah well so how come i'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. All right. All right, there's no need to make this difficult. <laughs> that remains to be seen. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? Yeah, I you know, you stole a ship, but people might be in danger, and I need your help. All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger. 
okay? All right. Uh, those men tried to run a farmer off her land. That's unfortunate. But I don't know anything about it. Can't say I'm surprised, though. You know how it is out here. The strong take what they want from the weak. You're real cold-blooded, aren't you? If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. Yeah. All right, enough small talk. Tell me what you know. It... It's not that simple. Ah. Uh, you don't seem to understand. I need this information now. I don't care how badly you need it. Okay. I'm not telling you. Great. Uh, you're not thinking straight. What I'm asking for is perfectly reasonable. Yeah. You're right. I don't know what I was thinking before. Okay. All right. Uh, I give you my word. I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? Right. That's right. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. I it was bet. a few weeks ago. I haven't heard from her since. Go on. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here. Take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Uh, let's see. I think we're done here. Works for me. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. You're free. Thanks for your help. Oh. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Uh, how about that? Okay, so we gotta go back to Aquila City. Love the vibe in this city. Pardon? Okay, fine, 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 fine. All right, uh, let's get out of here. And. All right. Let's see what we have. Madame. Oh, madame. Uh, up to the Bayou Plaza. And. Talk to Ranger Shadid at the Rock. He should be able to help with that encrypted slave. All right, you got it. Okay. Let's uh, go uh, see uh, the uh, Ranger there. And so when I get over there to give him that encrypted slate, I'll catch back up with you all. Okay, we're here at the Rock, and we've got to go up and see hey, Alex. Deputy. And uh, let's see. I'm always These amazed to get up through here. I think another set of stairs, and looks like right around the corner here. Here he is, Alex. Hey, Good buddy. To see you. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Hey, Alex. Mia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Ah, uh, that's, uh, that's my kind of a place, all right. Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. Huh. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Uh, I need your help with the encryption on this uh, slate. Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. 
Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. Okay, I'm counting on you, Alex. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Yeah, right, right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Talk to Daniel Blake. So let's work, let's go ahead and talk to Daniel Blake. Marshall, uh, if we can go the right flipping way. Is it this way? Yeah. Walked right by the stairs. All right. Let's talk for a minute. Yeah, let's talk. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Well, I was able to track down the thief with Ranger Price's help. Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. Thanks. I think I'm getting the hang of this. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is. A start. What did you learn from the starship thief? Well, let's see. Scored big time. Got the names of two high-ranking first members, Maya Cruz and Marco. The first has a, a money man called Marco and also someone named Maya Cruz. Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Well, how about uh, some information to track them down? Like what? Uh, where would someone go for a long-term medical treatment? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy, so it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Okay. Uh, Marco's keeping his location a secret. How can I find him? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Yeah. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Okay, well, that's enough to go on. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Okay. Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't going to get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, Deputy. All right. Okay, Shadows and Neon, we've completed that. So I think this will probably be a good spot. Oh, look out, Marshall. Come on. Uh... All right, surgical strike. Let's see something here. Let's just check to see what we got. We've got to go to the clinic and we've got on the run. So we've got two Freestar Collective uh, missions here. So I guess, let's see. Maybe we go to, well, might do that one in separate. This is our main one, I think. So we'll end up going to the clinic. All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap things up today. I think uh, we've uh, got quite a bit done. Uh, we really kind of moved along on the quest. So we're just going to kind of close out here in the uh, Marshall's office and, and call it good right here. All right. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. And ring that bell. It'll let you know when I am uploading new videos and I'm uploading them on a weekly basis. Okay, all you starfighters out there, uh, keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.